Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix two common problems when trying to launch the geth client and it's not loading up. If you watch my other video on the ECTMC plug and play miner unboxing you'll see that you get a node launcher window like this. Okay so the first problem you might have is when you're trying to launch the geth client you might get this error message right here which is error please close down the current running application even though there isn't one. All you need to do is click on OK and then just click on it again to relaunch it. And hopefully you'll get the loading window right here and it loads a second time. And there we go, we're good to go. So the second problem is when you click the get client right here and it comes up with a loading window like this and then it just vanishes and you don't get the get client. I've actually come across this second problem as well. And the reason for that is I had a power outage and after the power outage, didn't matter whatever I tried, I could not get the geth client to actually finish completing it. So there is a way to fix that and I wanna show you how to get it working. So the way to fix this problem is to use File Explorer and go to this location right here on your C drive. And you wanna end up in the folder which is called etcmc underscore geth. Once you're in there, just scroll down and you'll find these two files called ectpow underscore balance dot txt dot enc and there's another similar file with dot back. So what you need to do is go to this file here, ectpow underscore balance dot txt dot enc and delete that one. And then the second file right here, rename that and just take off the dot bac. So basically it ends up looking like the one that you've deleted right there. Once you've done that file, scroll down a bit further and do the same thing with this transaction underscore count dot txt. So delete that first file, which ends in dot enc, and then rename this one to what that one was originally, just by taking off the dot back. Once you've done that, you should be able to go to the launcher. Click on the get client. you'll get the usual loading window right here. And there you go, you've got the geth client running. So there you go, savages. Two nice quick fixes on how to get the geth client to work if you're having any problems with your nodes. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you savages on the next one.